And this is the remains of the ruins of uh, Kenilworth Castle. This particular bit is uh, built by Robert Dudley for when Elizabeth I came to visit. She visited twice. Well, oh, grand it was too. It would have been um, the equivalent of an Elizabeth, an Elizabethan country house. Uh, built and developed and whatnot, added to by quite a few different kings and Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, who was Queen Elizabeth I's lover, absolutely lavished loads of money on it. She probably bunged him in the first place and um, developed it for when she came and visited him a couple of times. And they, in the, ow, Whatever it was, 1571 to 1575, that's a 16th century stable block. It's now an exhibition and tea room. Over there. And over here is the most complete part. But it's closed because there's a wedding going on. Off the wall there. Watch where you're going, young man. Oh, yeah. Very impressive. Look at the detail on this. Uh, I think it's in 1640 the parliamentarians basically, because of the Civil War, they uh, trashed it so it could be used as a defensive. And after that, I think it's just gone in the rack and ruin, but I'd have to read the guidebook. Or whoever, if anybody watches this, other than me, I'll have to have a look at the history of Kenilworth Castle over the years. It's rise and it's downfall. And all that kind of carry on. But over here, these are the kitchens over here. But over here, through here, <laughs> I must do my exercises, exercises, exercises. I must do my exercises. Our um, down, down waist stacks. We've got a reproduction of the Elizabethan garden. Now, now about that one, guys and girls. Now then, now then, now then. And this is a faithful reproduction of um, the garden that Robert Dudley had created for uh, Elizabeth I. And uh, only her and her handmaidens and whatnot were allowed in it. But uh, the gardener let somebody in while the Queen was out hunting. And uh, he, um, he made a description of it, so that's how come that uh, they know what, what it was like. Or maybe not, maybe have to look in the guidebook a bit. And stop s s spreading falsehoods. Nice old houses, though, over there. A red telephone box, a bit of a rarity nowadays. Yeah, rather splendid. Okay. A bit more. Mm -hmm. Daddy, Mummy, come on. Lots of whining, whining kids. Yeah, I'm not looking in a dungeon, mate. <laughs> This was given to uh, yeah, given to uh, what on it was three thousand pounds in 1958 to the nation. It's about 400 years since Queen Elizabeth the first accession to the throne. 
as you do. Ooh, it can get a bit spooky down here. Should we go and investigate? And over here there was a big massive lake which was protected against invasion. These are the hunting grounds where Queen Elizabeth I used to go out hunting with hawks and whatnot. Finish off, bit of a close up of the, the Lest, Earl of Leicester's uh, gatehouse, which turned into a private house with a load of uh, stone nick from elsewhere in the castle, as you do. So, uh, probably from over there. And this stable block, which you had room enough for 30 horses. Oh, there we go. Oh, rather wonderbar. Zergut. Zergut. 